sports for me started from a young age. Um, as long as I can remember, I've been playing a sport, whether it's baseball, football, soccer, uh, swimming, anything, I, I played it. My parents uh, both played sports in college. And then high school, I did football and track. Uh, and, and that was when I, I really fell in love with track. Um, I, I kept working really hard and spending hours and hours and hours in the weight room and, and at the track trying to get better. Um, I was fortunate to have some, some success in high school. And luckily, I wound up at Louisville. I've been here for five years uh, competing. It's been a blast. I think I was always looking for something to, to pour myself into and to, to make an identity for myself. And from an early age, that was always sports. Like, I was a two-time state champion in track. We were state run-ups in football. I had an awesome girlfriend at the time. Like, I was top of the world. You know what I mean? It's hard to feel like you need a god when you feel like you got it all, you know? And then I get into college, and I'm definitely not the top guy anymore. You know, right back at the bottom. And I wasn't liking the way my team operated, the way my coach was doing things I didn't necessarily agree with. And, you know, I broke up with my girlfriend. And then, so I'm on my own, doing my own thing. And, and I... I've tried to be all these different things and I realize I'm more miserable than I was when I started, right? And we continued on into college. It became, you know, partying, having fun, um, drinking, everything else. That it, I was trying to fill myself up with these, these different things that I had the opportunity to do. And um, in that, it was, it was primarily with sports and, and social life. Uh, it, was what I was gonna, what I, it was what I was trying to use to, to fill myself up and make me feel um, like I was worth something. I was looking for something to serve, something bigger than me, something to contribute to. And I couldn't find it in track a lot of times. I couldn't find it in the career I was pursuing. I couldn't find it in the relationships that I was having. In, in my search for, for something better, for something to serve, uh, I decided to take a look at religion. Um, I'd gone to church on and off through college every now and then when I was feeling really lost. Um, it didn't really help me a whole lot because I don't think I was really ready for that. My heart wasn't softened for, for something like that. Um, but I ended up going with some friends to FCA, and I, I definitely approached it very analytically, and I was going to listen to it, see what they had to say, what I agreed with, what I didn't agree with. I wasn't exactly sure what um, the, the church taught or what, what, who Jesus really was or what he does for me or who he is to me. About a month later, I'd, I'd give my life to Christ and accept him as, as my savior. So when I began talking to Aaron and, and Chris about being baptized, um, I kind of asked if it would be possible to, to be baptized with FCA. Um, so there was a lot of confusion in between us, like getting it done, um, but he was excited about it. As we had had our conversations, he had come to the conclusion on his own, like, hey, you know, this is something that I need to do. This is something that I feel is um, of of the most importance for me to um, I guess show the world that hey like I'm committed to this to, to this thing I'm committed to who Jesus is I'm committed to be a follower and the Bible tells us that baptism um, is something that shows that hey like I'm being obedient to the scriptures and Eric was saying like hey I want to do it I want to get it done uh, but he also wanted to make sure that there were certain people that were there for him to be able to, to get it done to. Cause I'm like, hey, we can go down to the pool if you want. Um, yeah, it took me a while to get baptized, <laughs> which uh, it's funny. It's something that I talked to Aaron a lot about and I was hesitant and I was waiting because I felt like I, I had this work to go. I wasn't perfect yet. I wasn't where I needed to be. I wasn't living every day, every second, every thought for Christ. Um, and ultimately, I realized that that is exactly what was separating me from his grace and from his love. We decided to set up a baptism night. I got to be baptized by Aaron, which was the most meaningful thing. But man, it's, it, it is my, it's been my pleasure to do life with you, man. It's been so cool to see you grow, to see you, to see you hunger and thirst for who Christ is. So upon your confession of faith, big dog, man, I baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. I felt like I, this, this rest come over me that I had truly found what I was meant to be serving and worshiping this whole time. Getting to know him over the last couple of years has, has really changed my life, you know. One thing that I've always struggled with personally was just my purpose and being around. And I pray like, God, please show me my purpose. And then I get a text message like in the next hour like from Eric to say, hey, you want to meet up? 
And, you know, I think the beauty of it is that God has allowed us to be able to be on this campus for moments like the story of Eric. But it doesn't just have to stop with Eric. I mean, there are so many other people on this campus, athletes, coaches, um, students, uh, support staff who are, you know, just like Eric, that we get opportunity to, to impact. We get opportunity to just share who Jesus is. You could see him just radiate and just know that um, he had a creator that cared for him and loved him and was showing him grace and he didn't have to have everything all straight in a line and um, just became more confident in sharing and talking to people and uh, using his voice to be able to make an impact and become a leader and um, using that by, by God's strength. Since giving my life to Christ, I've been really blessed to have a lot of opportunities to serve with U of L FCA. Uh, started character coaching at a middle school in town, so I met weekly with a middle school football team and uh, got to share a 10, 15 minute devotional with them, got to know the kids better, and uh, just got to share the good Lord with them and grow relationships and, and get to know them. Uh, and it was such a fulfilling experience, and uh, I'm just, just really grateful for the impact that I've, I've gotten to have through my platform at, at UofL. Becoming a follower of Christ has also changed the way I compete and the way I see myself as an athlete. Um, I, I struggle with it greatly how I'm not what my performance is. I am who Christ says that I am. And I still have to remind myself every day that my performance, whether it's really good or really bad, does not define who I am. Um, and that ultimately has given me the freedom to go out and compete fearlessly because I know that I'm competing for something greater than myself, greater than my team, greater than my school. I know that I'm competing for an audience of one that just wants to see me go out and be all that he's called me to be.